Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson. In today's video, we are going to break down a master's thrower going through the six pillars of the throw. We are in a gym session and we're doing a lot of technical work. In this video, we're going to talk about the similarities between master's athletes and beginnings, how we kind of went through, looked at problems, assessed and addressed technical errors. So check it out. today's video, we're going to talk about training master's athlete Marge. Sarge Marge is one of my master's clients who's been to camps, done private training. Now, one of the challenges she had was there was a strained Achilles. And so this was posing an issue on loading the right leg. It's a really good lesson that you can actually train through injuries and you should do what you can. All right. So here in the beginning, one of the things I was trying to do is get some directional position set up. And I was trying to show Marge actually how to load her delivery leg. So one of the things we did is we had to work on some angles and showing her some counterbalance points and there's some flexibility issues. So at this point, what we were doing is kind of tying in, we're showing Marge a connection between some integrated mobility, myofascial work, right? The self myofascial work, that's what you do with foam rollers and balls. Here we have a lacrosse ball. We're showing her how when you put the lacrosse ball up in the adductor, up towards where you know the groin insertion points are, then you're gonna actually create some release on the calf muscles and it actually ties up into the lower back. So we're just showing her how to get on that hard surface of a plyo box with the lacrosse ball and how to move around and find those tension points that were existing that she was unaware Oftentimes of. Oftentimes that's connected to what's going down below the calf to the ankle. So here again, we kind of were doing two things. We were trying to show the mechanics and show her when she was more lined up in a better position, how we were putting less stress on the Achilles, but we were also showing how the lower body, moving the upper body correctly was gonna create that tension against what would be the implement, right? And that is really, really important. And when you feel that, see how we're creating more tension here? So you want to avoid. So one of the most unnatural parts of the throw is actually sequencing the delivery, right? And that's because you have the block arm, the block leg, and the block arm is really critical to time correctly because it influences the position of the shoulder. The delivery hip not only has to rotate, but it has to extend as it's twisting through to pull the thrower into the throw. And that is a lot of motion going on. So you have the left side, right side connection with timing and twisting motions to create that big whip. This is a very common mistake that we see with throwers at all levels from beginner to advanced pro throwers. Push my chest up so I'm in this position so as I come this way I'm I'm pulling through into the So you're going to notice right here one of the little tricks that we teach is how that arm and shoulder are moving. Right now the arm folding is not the right position it pulls back and I'm going to address it here in a second in this video. And the right side moves around the left side. Yeah you see that? So you want to feel this, you want to feel this. So this is a really important point. We find this a lot. We've talked about this. We've made YouTube videos on this. The inverted orbit, right? When you see the high point of the discus not getting high enough. When it's at that high point, it helps you move around the axis into the throw. This is a perfect example. You can see where I change the high point, changes Marge's angle. Now she's going to be able to more effectively work the delivery leg around the block and into the throw. See where your shoulder's moving? If my shoulder's here, I'm going to come around on the longer path. If it's here, I'm counterbalancing. And then I just angle. See how my arm's up here? So here I'm trying to teach Marge again how to create the angle, right? She's got the high point. She doesn't have the discus up high enough. You don't want to be dipping the side down, but it has to be angled enough and over the knee so that the high point comes up more easily and again, helps that better rotation around the axis. So you can see here, one of the things that's really important is to reinforce the positives that the athletes are doing. We were moving her forward into better positions. And I think that's important for coaches and young throwers to always understand that you're going to be getting incrementally better there you go much better and then out wide much better that was actually 10 times better yeah very good just a few days from this point she was already moving a lot better and we had also done some things to help the Achilles feel a little better the combination of those of, of that feedback is really important it's important to understand that you're gonna be working those micro things and things that seem small in a session adds up and over the course of just a matter of a week or a month makes a huge difference hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as you can see there's a lot that goes into what we do with the throwing chain reaction system if you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential, click the link below and we will see you on the next video.